You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I am going to do an egg puzzle for Easter. Check it out. It is the Puzzling Egg from Eggsville, USA. I've had this for a few years. It's just never made it into the Easter series and thought this would be a good time to show an interesting puzzle. Here are the instructions. Locate notch of cent at center of egg and pull pin out. Remove top and bottom of egg. Mix pieces up. Reassemble pieces and replace pin into center of egg. All right. Seems simple enough. You got little egg people on the side. Look at that. Moving the pieces to rebuild the egg. That's what they're doing. Let me take it out and show you what this looks like. Okay, there is the egg. So you basically... It says take out the center pin. All right. Now, if you remember the colors, you should easily be able to put this back together, right? So there we go. Let's see. Now my egg is totally apart. I don't remember the exact coloring. I mean, you just kind of look at the shape, I guess, and say, hmm, this shouldn't be too hard to put back together. Well, let us see. How's that? There. All right. So now I'm going to just isolate the two that are closest in size, which would be these two, and then these fit a certain way. So I don't remember the color, so I'm just going purely, that's why I took it apart and I just started there. So now we know that goes to that. I don't think it's the hardest part of the puzzle in the world, that's for sure. Well, you would all agree with that, I'm sure. Now, if you actually handed it to somebody apart, then it might take a little bit to get it. So these would be the next size. So assuming that purple's not on purple, I would just do this. And eventually, it's going to fit in the right position, see? So I think like I said, if you just handed somebody all the pieces and said, here, put this back together and make an egg, they might think about it a little bit. These would be the next, let's see. So this one looks like it would be one of the next pieces. So it's going to go on that one or the other one. So you just kind of keep spinning. Once you make a complete turn and you'll Try it on the next one. There we go. That's a lock. So then this probably has to go on to this one. There we go. Purely logical, I guess. This onto this. So basically just fitting each ridge into that section. Okay, maybe this goes on to the yellow. Okay, so then this one has to go on to here. I guess it doesn't have to, I'm just assuming it does. I mean, you could look at them and say, hmm, but to me it seems to be easier just to spin. There we go. Now the yellow one would be the last section, so it's either going to go on this way or this way. I'm guessing this way now. I will see. Oh no, that's where the pin goes on. So then it's got to be this way. Well, I don't know. That's why I'm doing it. It's puzzling. Just keep spinning. Just keep spinning. One of these is bound to go together. Uh, unless that... Yeah, let me try this one here. 
I'm striking out with that one, even though I know it's got to fit one of these two. There's no other option. Okay, maybe I'm just not going around enough. Ah, okay. So I had it right the last time in regards to it was one of those ways. You just got to keep turning. There we go. All right. Now looking at the ends, I forgot if it was yellow to orange, but these only can go in one or two ways. So if it's not that way, it has to be that way. Otherwise it's a different piece. So just logical deduction, I guess. Oop, there we go. So either this way or this way. Ah, all right. Oops, this way. There, now my egg is locked back together. What do you think about that little puzzle? It is a pretty egg. Oops, sorry. Whoa, as I break it. And then as you can tell, it's stuck together now with that little pin. So if you gave it to somebody completely apart, it might take them a few minutes like it took me. But otherwise, still fun and interesting and different if you're a puzzle person and you collect puzzles. Maybe you would collect an egg puzzle like that just to have. And thanks for watching me put a puzzle together. If you want to see more Easter stuff, look in that description. We'll have a link to a playlist there. As always, you can search Lucky Penny Shop. So what do you think about that? I never got a year on it. It just looks a little older, probably from the 80s or 90s, maybe. Oh, well, thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.